Hello everybody, Elias5891 here with another Katane module tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to get things going uh, by looking at three different Needy modules. We're going to look at QR code, hexadecimal, and button masher. Let's go ahead and dive in here see what we can learn about these. Alright, so number one is going to be my solvent module, and then you'll see two, three, and four are three different needies. Uh, number two here is your hexadecimal module, three is QR code, and four is button masher. Uh, let's start with button masher, it'll be the quickest to explain. Uh, for button masher, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate the uh, manual page, I do admit that I have a slightly dated one. Um, you got a button, you got a display. When it activates, the display is going to give you a number, somewhere between roughly 25 and 45, and you'll get, I think it's now 30 seconds, to push the button that many times. Every time you push the button, the number uh, decreases by one. The goal is to have it be exactly zero when the timer runs out. That's one thing I like about this needy. It doesn't check it off or give you credit or pass it or dis deactivate it as soon as it's done, it waits until the timer runs out, and then it checks it. That makes it really good if, say, you're doing something like a Centurion, or really anything else where you don't want needies to keep spawning on you. That way you can wait until it's ready and move on. Uh, number two up here is hexadecimal. For hexadecimal, uh, you're going to get a hexadecimal number here and you're going to use these keys to type in the decimal equivalent here. Uh, if you know them by heart, then you can do that without an expert, but if you don't know them, the expert page here actually has a table converting, say, 3, 2, uh, three, two in hex to 50 in decimal. Uh, and the third one is QR code. I don't actually have a phone with a QR reader that works, because my camera doesn't work. Uh, so I'm going to be loading it into this website that's a QR scanner, but this one's going to do exactly what it sounds like. It's going to give you a QR code, you scan it, the QR code scan will give you a 8 digit number, uh, 5 to 8, and you'll enter it. Alright, so here they all are, so let's knock them out in the order we looked at them. Uh, button masher, I need to hit the button 33 times. Now, if you exceed the number of button presses, you're in trouble, you're going to get a strike. Get down to zero, though, and you're done. Just wait for time to run out. Uh, likewise, hexadecimal, 31. We can look this up in the chart very close to where we did our sample. 3, 1 is 49. 49. And hexadecimal, like button masher, will wait until time runs out before it checks. Uh, and then QR code, I've copied it to a file saved it, uh, load picture, we're going to drag it here, and there's our number, 9008398, that one's done, but masher 45 pushes, so we'll zoom through this, let's say we go too far, we're not paying attention, if you hit it again after zero, you take the strike, and it does reset immediately. So something to be aware of, something to be careful about. Uh, but that's your three modules. Hexadecimal, let's go ahead and do another one of these. 25, 2, 5 gives us 37. So that's done. Here's another QR code. So I'm going to print screen, paste it into a picture, save it, load it to this website. Six six zero oh, seven three four zero oh, three. It's done. It clears. Forty one button pushes. That's clear. That's going to finish up. That's going to finish up. Uh, with this one, take note that you have a CLR button. If you exceed what you're aiming for, clear it away. So. You don't have to worry about overshooting on this one like you do on this one. Uh, but these are our modules. Uh, I could sit here and do them for probably not forever because eventually I'll mess up. I could do them for a while, 
but uh, I, I think the gist and the understanding is in place for... Oh, see here. Uh, I think the understanding is in place for all of these at this point. Uh, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions, please leave them in the section down below as always. Uh, but until next time, I mean, this needy's not too bad. Until next time, guys, this has been Elias. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and don't explode. Bye, guys.